Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Infinity News. I'm your host, Ianka. And I'm your other host, Caro. Here at Infinity, we strive to cut through the chatter and bring you the news you need. Wow. Truly is amazing, isn't it, to be back again? Truly is. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the academics. A new study abroad opportunity is available sponsored by Toshizo Watanabe, an endowed scholarship offering up to $25,000 for academic study in Japan. That's amazing. I should sign up. Yeah, well, unfortunately, your contract with Infinity News won't allow it. A jeweler sweet guy. Go let me off a couple of empty jewel pods. Okay. The scholarship sp supports the full cost of attendance for a semester or academic year. The deadline is by Sunday, February 17th. Awesome. Jason Seidel coming back for a lump one to ones. Students are interested in career intelligence so definitely visit him at court on Tuesday, February 26th. I dated a Jason once, and I should call my therapist after the show, now that that's in my head. Moving on to campus and community life, tough time for choir care. The Wellness Center, in collaboration with ECG, Boards, and Spiritual Life, and Resident and Residential Life are hosting a radical practice of care retreat uh, hosted on March 15th to 17th. The plan is to engage in conversation and activities to develop our capacity for care in a manner that is intentional, realistic, and sustainable. Sounds like fun. I should sign up, and I actually can because my contract would allow that. You definitely should, and so should you. In other news, fresh organic salad greens are, are now available in the ham store, straight from the Hampshire College Farm. Supplies are limited, so get them while you still can. That's all for news. We have a really great pilot so planned out for y'all. Still, stick till the end to get the first look at our future or at our future ventures and series for Infinity Fridays 2019. Hampshire protest history. Hampshire College has a long history of protest. Today we're going to take a look back into the archive history of Hampshire College compiled from student newspapers over the years. All the information can be found on the library website, but it's easy to get lost in a sea amount of information. So we've compiled a list of five to highlight just how much Hampshire loved protesting. Wow. Five. That's a lot of protesting. Don't Hampshire students just like chill and just like let things be? You know, you have to let things be. They'll take away your quesadillas. Don't mess with my quesadillas. Number one, May 1st, 1972. Administration failed to answer the imperatives issued by third world organization. So members of that organization took over the natural science and mathematics building. It was the first student takeover since Hampshire opened, and it will be the last before we succeed and become our own country. The National Guard, the Stone the Eagle. Yes. Number two. April 13, 1971. A student encouraged other students to write disclaimers on their self-evaluations, protesting certain academic requirements, including the two common courses in human development and language communication, and the three course minimum. Number three, March 1st, 1979. Over 60 students formed the human blockade around the Hampshire Mall free bus when it arrived to pro when it arrived in order to protest economic and social impact of the mall and a bus service, student demand the bus never return, and it never did. Legend has that you walk at night and scream PBTA three times, a PBTA comes and hits you. Number eight. Number eight. April twenty eighth. 1981. In a school-wide referendum, 934 students voted in favor of banning nuclear proliferation, the progress and expansion of. 21 students opposed. That's a lot of participation. Number five, December 7th, 1987. A petition was sent um, to Adelaide Simmons with 250 student signatures 
asking for extending the library's hours until 2 a.m. The administrative dean's committee set up a ad hoc committee to investigate possibilities. When one of them one of them went to decipher a code scribbled in the bathroom, the team later deducted the code was an invitation by an organized orgy syndicate. And the last one, October 26, 1990. Various members of community council distributed a single piece of chalk to each student's mailbox, encouraging them to express their opinions about recent events and developments on campus. And within hours, the remaining chalk is removed from the boxes as students have graffitied virtually every building on campus. And that's the news for today. I'm Caro. I'm Ianka. And coming to you in Studio G in the Hampshire Media Library basement, this is Infinity News. See you in two Fridays. I can't say whether you'll be thrown into the sea. Or not. I can say that things feel different after swimming for a while. I became a mermaid. Swam through the wreckage. I got wrecked and I sank. And on the bottom of the sea, the colors were so strange and so bright. I thought, I think, I will stay forever. I was born above the bathtub. I have felt like a boat. I want to see what it will be like to be the sea. I can't say whether or not you'll be thrown into the sea. Hey guys, you just watched episode zero of this season of Infinity. If you want to check out more Infinity content, click up here to subscribe. Uh, you can check out episode three up here and some other Infinity content over here. Go watch it. Do the things. How is 20 seconds not up yet? Go watch it.